Well, it sure is something, isn't it? Link's Awakening, a perfect remake, I would say. Capturing the essence of what the classic game was, but also improving in so many ways. And I have to say that this game is damn gorgeous. I just can't get over the fact how nice the water looks. Look at it! You just want to jump in and take a nice swim. Oh, no, 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 wait, I don't have the flippers yet. But while we're still enjoying this amazing piece of a video game, I want to point my eyes slowly towards the future. Because the question on everyone's mind is, what Zelda game will be remade next? We already know the next new Zelda game that will be coming to the series, which will be the sequel to Breath of the Wild. But what is the new remake that we will get? The Legend of Zelda series is known for going back in its own catalog and remake a game that we haven't seen in a long time. So they are probably already thinking or even working on the next one. And I think that I have a pretty good guess on what game that's going to be. Or should I rather say games? Because I believe our next remakes will be for Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. There is some evidence that might point in the direction of these games being remade next. We can never say for sure if it will happen, but I think that we can make a calculated guess. So let me explain to you what these two games are and why I believe we will see them return on Nintendo Switch. Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons were both released for the Game Boy Color on May 14, 2001 in the United States. They followed after the success of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. The games went through some changes as it were very ambitious projects. It were actually supposed to be three games that could be played in any order. With special passwords, the game could influence each other, changing the plot depending on which order the game you would play. Each of them was supposed to be built around a certain gameplay mechanic. One would function around seasons, the second one around time of day, and the last one around color. After the project seemed too ambitious and difficult with the limitations of the Game Boy Color, they decided to scrap the color element. But they kept the two other games, the one about time, which would become Oracle of Ages, and the other one about seasons, which would become Oracle of Seasons of course. These two games could still be linked up to get an ending that could be achieved by playing both stories, where you have to fight Twin Rova and Ganon in the end. The games were hugely successful commercially and also loved by players. In Japan they are the third best selling Game Boy Color game. And although Zoras and Gorons and other familiar creatures can be found in the games, neither of them takes place in Hyrule. As Ages takes place in Labrina and Seasons takes place in Holodrum. As could be seen in the timeline, the games take place after A Link to the Past and before Link's Awakening. Yes, could be seen, because that changed. They changed it so the order is now A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening and then the Oracle games. Our first clue for a potential remake. On the 6th of August 2018, Breath of the Wild finally got added to the official timeline. Placing it at the bottom making it the most recent Zelda game. But that's not what's interesting for us. As I mentioned, the Oracle games and Link's Awakening switched. Which seemed strange and insignificant at the time. But now it makes a lot of sense, if this theory is to be true. At that time they were already working on Link's Awakening, as it would be announced half a year later. So that game was on their minds at that moment. But then why would they switch it? What if they wanted to continue the style of Link's Awakening and make one overarching story? This Link's story ends after Link's Awakening in the old timeline, making the next Zelda game the original which takes place much later. But now with the new placement, the Oracle games are a sequel. A sequel that they could bring to Nintendo Switch. A remake where Link is trying to find his way back to Hyrule and gets transported to Labrina or Holodrum. In this case, it would make sense to remake the Oracle games next. Because now you have a complete story to tell that takes place after Link's Awakening. And that would make the most sense for the game developers because they could use the same engine and assets. Something that we have seen many times before. With Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, Breath of the Wild and its sequel, probably. And although still very different as they had been developed for different consoles, Link's Awakening and the Oracle games still share a similar look. Especially when looking at the Game Boy Color version for Link's Awakening. In this manner they could keep working with the look of the new Link's Awakening and implement that in the Oracle games. So they don't have to scrap this entire art style after just one game. That still means that it will probably take some time for this game to be developed. The Legend of Zelda remakes have all been handled by Grezzo since 2011. Between Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D, 
there was still a gap of 4 years. These things take time. The Legend of Zelda series director Iji Anuma stated before that the wish for remaking Link's Awakening came from the fact that the game is 26 years old now. And because of that, it becomes much more difficult to obtain the game. With the Oracle games being 18 years old, they are also slowly beginning to fall in that category. And that would make this the perfect time for them to return. A lot can be said on what game will be remade next. But this little timeline placement is crucial to me. If they weren't going to remake the Oracle games, then why bother? It shouldn't matter for the timeline. And although I would love to see a full HD remake of Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, the Oracle games would also be a great continuation of this art style. So what do you think? Could this mean that the Oracle games are on their way to Switch? And would that make you happy? Or would you rather see one of the other Zelda games remade? Let me know in the comments as I'm really curious on what you think about this. Click that subscribe button for more on Zelda and other Nintendo games. Thank you very much.